Hey everybody, welcome to the latest uh, redo video. This is of course my repaint and recape of the George Clooney Batman from Batman and Robin, which this particular guy was released in the six pack of six Batman figures, which I acquired. And I decided to go ahead and work him up and give him a better cape, a wired cape that was of a better material and a better color match to the what it should be the colors I went and this was the old cape it was black it's a nice shape and it was a nice you know finish but it didn't really work for for Clooney because Clooney's got that that sheen that metallic color and the figure itself was almost black I, I, I didn't understand why they did black on Clooney when he wasn't so, took a bit of repainting on him. It took several layers, actually, to do what I did. And we'll talk about that in just a second. The, the cloth I got was some... This is the inside of it, the interior, because that's what you see with him. And that the color match is a little better than the interior. The exterior has more of a sheen and is uh, really, really blue, which I don't mind that at all. It's very hard to mix this in paint so I, I tried the best I could and what I used were Vallejo colors just so you can see I used gunmetal blue which is a little green I used dark blue I used what's called oily steel and black which brought my colors down darkened them and it gave him the the sheen colors that I wanted. I actually did different, I emphasized different colors different places. I did more black um, like around the knees and some in the elbows and to kind of bring out some of the shapes on him uh, in the holes in the eyes, the, the where the makeup would be, that kind of thing. I did nothing to revise the figure itself. I didn't recarve him, redo him, anything like that. Um, I did remove the head which has a deep, deep stub right here that you can pry out. It's very deep, though. It's a, it's in there. And then you kind of pull the head from the back, and I had to actually slice. But it still fits on a kind of a shape. There's a post there. But I removed the cowl, cleaned it up, made my cape, based again on the uh, original. I just kind of laid one on top of the other took a marking pencil, a white marking pencil, and wrote and drew on my cloth. And of course I did a fold over with a very thin wire. I use a wire from, <clears throat> believe it or not, from like telephone line or, you know, very thin wire. And the cloth that I found has a tendency to fray. It, it, it frays real bad. So if you notice there's a little bit of an edge of, of glue. What I did was I drew my white lines for my shape and I took fabric tack and I drew fabric tack onto the lines and very, very carefully thin, spread them with my finger, just kind of drew the arches with each, you know, each arch and sliced with a razor knife right in the middle of that arch and made it real, real clean. That way, it won't fray. The, the fabric won't fray on that line. But you can, yeah, the light may catch it. You can kind of see that little bit of glue. That's how I did it. And I got my sharp points that way. Now, in some places, the glue's a little messier. But it really works pretty good. I mean, I can't, I don't notice the glue mark all that much. So I'm okay with it. Again, the body I painted with the colors. The, it took several layers to do it. Um, I thought about painting more of a silver or gunmetal color and then painting blue pigment over that. There's all kinds of ways to do it. But I had to paint, you know, you got to do the, the butterfly joint pieces. Uh, you've got to do the inside of the elbows, the back of the knees, where the knees bend, all kinds of stuff. You've got to do a, and I kind of did different tints of color in different places. And I did gloss coats. There's gloss on the bat this bat and on the belt the knee pad and this bat here and on the tip of the boots there's a, gloss, a thin thin gloss coat there 
and that brings out those pieces as it were it makes like separate body pieces of the costume the rest I really just let go like it did I did before I did the gloss coating I did spray it with my yeah I spray all these things with super clear matte and it actually in spite of the matte coat the sheen of the metallic really did you know come out in the, the finish you don't have to have a gloss on it uh, the sheen is there from the paint but it, you have to use metallics and you have to do layers so it takes a little practice and a little time but now he doesn't look like a piece of black plastic he looks like George Clooney in the costume in the you know material so anyway, that's my Clooney Batman. I hope to do this with Batgirl and Robin. And of course, uh, Poison Ivy will be her own thing. And Mr. Freeze, I will chrome and add uh, hoses to. So look for those when they come in. That'll be a later video. And I'll just slide this bad boy right in amongst them. I don't know what I'll do with the spare one. We'll see. We'll wait and see. I'm, I'm not sure yet. But in the meantime, if you like my video, if you like uh, what you see and what I've done, what I've produced if you like the finished piece uh, please uh, give me a like uh, you know uh, subscribe if you haven't already a comment would be lovely I'd love to hear from you and uh, you know I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time with the next batch uh, whenever they come in I guess it'll be December or whenever but Hope you've enjoyed this video, and take care.